Hello and welcome to me, Dustblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. So, what we're going to be doing today? Hmm. Well, what I want to do, I want to come up with a way to get those villagers transported into our trading area. Now, I'm struggling a bit for ideas on how to do this. Um, but that said, um, over the years I've watched a lot of um, amazing crafters come up with um, good ways of transporting villagers, unique, novel and fun ways. And I think as I'm running out of ideas, I'm going to have to come up with something fun and unique, I guess. Yeah, I've been experimenting with um, lots of different ways to get these villagers transported over. Um, decided on a rail system which works to a certain degree but when my car drops down there then it just stops it doesn't do anything let me show you just to demonstrate let's get a cart bring back okay watch this stupidity well, a gutter foot of our stairs. That is just unbelievable. Every single time I've done it, the car just stopped where it was. On this particular occasion, it decided to work. But the question is, is it going to work with a grown-up villager in it? I think it should do. It should do. Unless it just starts getting stuck again. Sod's law, that is, isn't it? The rail system is going to come all the way down here. Um, I'm going to build a simple um, slabbage type bridge over to the other side of there. I'm going to swim over now, just show you. <laughs> so it'll come through here. I'm going to Dig my way through there. The rails will go down there. And then we can start putting individual villagers into their individual cells. Oh, can't wait. Spent far too much time on this. Really have. <laughs> okay, I was going to make a slab bridge over here, but apparently you can't place rails and slabs. Never knew that. I don't know where the stupidity is in that, but Minecraft sort it out. Okay, um, I'm going to have to come up with um, a different idea. I'm just going to have to use four blocks, aren't I? I do like this polished um, cobbled slate. It is pretty, uh, pretty nice looking, but it's just a shame that uh, it can't place rails on slabs. Why? Okay, leave it with me. Bridge is coming along nicely. We get in there. Um, I'm not going to break any of that glass yet because I don't want anything. When I say anything, I mean mobs or anything <laughs> getting in there. Um, but yeah, let's uh, back on, get this bridge finished, get the rail system finished, and. Uh, we can do a big test with a real villager and see how it goes. Bridge is completed at last. Um, not the greatest of bridges, but you know, it serves its purpose and that's basically all I need it to do. Um, I mean, maybe uh, later down the line, we could you know, make it look a, a bit better or possibly even a lot better. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So, what I need to do now is just um, connect the rest of the uh, rail, and um, it'll be uh, be testing time. Um, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Right. Let the fun commence. It's time to test it. But first, it's going to be a test with me inside it. Plus, I'm telling you now, that 
Um, that car was stopping when it was falling through the first hole before, and just fell. Why did I fall? I don't know. Why did you fall? I fell because I'm silly. Anyway, let's get back on here. So, yeah, let's get one. Oh, God, I haven't got my eyes yet, have I? That's another thing. <laughs> We're getting close to the fun. Hell yeah, I can't wait to get um, this village uh, trading all sorted out and get some trading going off. Right. What do we need to do? First thing we need to do, I think, is eat a bit of food. Some food. Right, let's have a look. Let's get you there. Put you there. Oh. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Here we go. Keep your hands at the side at all times. Yes. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And here we go. Everything's fine, it's all working, everything's going to plan so far. Oh my gosh, I love it when a plan comes together. Come on, don't get too carried away just yet, we're not there. But it's looking good, it's looking good. Come on, this is the final hurdle. Please, please, yes! Get in there. That's what we wanted. Now, let's hope it does that when we've got villagers inside the car. First of all, we need to get a villager breeded up before we can test it with a villager, don't we? So let's go ahead and do that. So we've just breeded the villagers. Oh, did I overfeed them? I was just going to say, and we have a we have a baby, but now we have two. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. See, I taught a villager. Can. Of course I can. Hmm. 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 Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Yeah, so we've got our um we've got our little village children. Now we just need to wait for these to um Yeah, we need to wait for them to grow up. We don't wanna be moving on before they've grown up. No, of course we don't. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we wait for them to grow up. Then um, we release the minecart of destiny. Yep, so I'll uh, get back to you when uh, when these have grown up into nice adults so we can start getting some trading going on. So behind me, you can see two villagers. I'm sorry I didn't um, didn't show you me bringing them down, but I will do. Don't you worry about that. What's important is things are not looking good. Okay. I don't know what the problem is, but these villagers just will not convert um, into um, into a trade, basically. So when I put down a work block, nothing happens and i for the life of me cannot find out what the problem is and it's doing my head in let's show you let me just show you okay let me just show you you'll see what i mean I'm not lying honestly so lectern villager space bang what are you gonna do come on bob see nothing Zilch, nada, absolutely nothing. I've tried breaking some of these blocks. I've tried um, lowering the lectern in case maybe the trap door was blocking his view, which I, I don't think it does. I, for the life, just cannot work out what happens. All I know is that it's a moment of the highest order. Mumble, mumble, mumbling, grumble, mumble. So. What I'm going to do, because it's a broken trading all, this little project is going to be put on hold and I'm going to try and break a different... Uh, did I say break? I, I, I'm going to try and make a different project. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the um, iron farm construction forward. 
Now, yes, I know, I know that building's not um, completed yet, but you know what? I don't care. I am going to build an iron farm over there. It's going to work. I'm going to finish that building off. And then, and then, and then, we're going to come back here and work out what's wrong. Is Minecraft broken or is Daz broken? Well, it's obvious really, isn't it? Daz is broken. But, as you all may well know, that's the way I roll. What do you mean you don't know? Of course you know. Just told you. That's the way I roll. See? Said it again. Just for you. So, we need an iron farm until we can work out why Bob and Jeff don't want to convert into a trade. Why? What's the problem? Huh. Hmm. Uh -huh. mm. yeah, why I order? Oh, yeah, you're lucky. You're very lucky. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Mumble, mumble, mumbling, mumble, mumble. One word to say to you, Bob, Jeff, goodbye, good night, and I'll see you later. Hello, you're never going to guess what happened. So, here's what happened. I was moving all the um, resources I needed over to that uh, building, that incomplete building over there, you know, getting ready to uh, build the old iron farm. But, as you can see, I had some inspiration. And if it hadn't had worked, it was time to... Um, Start reaching out for help. <laughs> Maybe on, you know, Google is your friend and all that sort of stuff. Um, but what I did, and I don't know why it has to be like this, but it does apparently. Slapped in a little bed down there. And that seems to have done the trick. However, poor original Jeff had a little accident we don't want to talk about it let's just say he's no longer with us and we've got new jeff here now so there's bob and with bob we've got locked in silk touch but i don't know how long it takes before you can start trading with him again i've maxed him out so i don't know what's going off there but we'll deal with that so Bob can go there and let's see what we can get on Jeff. Hey, nicely, Jeff. What are you going to give me? Ooh, looting free. Really want mending or unbreaking. Got silk touch there. Pretty sure I can get looting from AFK fishing. So, boom. come on. Come on, Jeff. Play nicely. No, we don't want bookshelves. Come on, Jeff. You can do it. Come on, Jeff. No, we don't want bookshelves. Come on. What are you going to give me? Give me some... What do I want? What did I say I wanted? Mending or unbreaking. Mending or unbreaking. No, not bookshelves, Jeff. You're not listening. You're not paying attention. Mending or unbreaking, please. Oh. Again, loyalty. Pretty sure I can get that from AFK Fishing. So, Jeff, you need to start behaving yourself. And you need to give me some mending or unbreaking, please. Riptide. No. Jeff. No. Come on. Behave. Be good. Let's have some mending or unbreaking. You can do it. I know you can. I've got faith in you. Not like that. It's no good, is it? Come on. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Why are you doing this to me, Jeff? Oh, eventually... After a short amount of time, after a short amount of time, 
Ha. Woohoo! There we go. Mending. So, we need to get that locked in. And there we go. But, again. Hmm. Why is he all traded out already? But only getting one ball. They don't stay locked out forever, do they? I mean, he, he's definitely locked in place, isn't he? Yeah, definitely locked in place, so I can safely break that. So how long does it take before he comes available again? Trade. And obviously I need to get these prices down as well, so I need to zombify them, don't I? Need to, yeah, get some zombies in here sorted out. Oh, don't, I, I don't get it. Wh what is going off? Why? Is it cross the share in the same bed, maybe? Or is it, maybe I need to go to sleep? Let me just go to sleep. I think it's night day. Well, it's coming up to dawn, isn't it? But let's just quickly. Ah. Uh, it's already, it's already daytime, so I've run all the way around there for no reason at all. Because, you know, it's just the way it is. So. So what's going off now? What's the, what's the crackalacker, Jeff? No, you're still locked out. You're still locked out. Why? Hmm. It's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Why don't things just run swimmingly? You know, I watch loads of YouTubers playing Minecraft and they don't seem to have these issues that I have. So, why does it always happen to me? Hmm? Or again, is there something I'm missing, maybe? Could it be? Because they're only sharing one bed, perhaps. Maybe they need their own bed. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I need to need to uh, work out what's going off. Okay. So, what I'm going to do when I, as I bring in more villagers, I want um, I want you guys to start suggesting names for me. Obviously, I've selected the first two, Bob and Jeff. Um, but from now on, if you want to drop down in the comments uh, the names for villagers, please keep it clean. PG only, um, nothing um, obnoxious, rude, or any, anything like that. And uh, yeah, um, obviously I'll give credit um, to you if I use the name. Um, the, if I did words again, it's always words, isn't it? If I use one of your names, I shall give credit to the person who suggested that name yes there we go so let me just have a quick another look no still I don't get it I just don't get it oh, we'll close them off for the time being you know what I think we should still do the iron farm this episode Despite the fact that we've finally worked out how to get the villagers um, converted into the chosen profession. Although, as I say, I'm just a bit confused why they're maxed out and why they've been maxed out for so long. Because Whoa, it's just now doing that's my impressive. Edit. So, here's all the stuff I'm going to be needing for the iron farm, all in this chest here made a little template here it's going to be um 19 by 19 um and the iron farm is actually based on a design from silent whisperer um if you've not heard of silent whisperer um i suggest you go and check him out he makes out makes out some excellent tutorials is also part of 
um, the Truly Bedrock SMP. Um, but yeah, it makes a lot of great tutorials and uh, is, um, yeah, I'm going to say he, he is a bit of an inspiration. Now, as usual, I will always put my own little touch on it. Um, however, the mechanics will stay stay the same because I am no redstone genius. But the actual um, look to it will look um, quite a bit different to um, the way Silent Whisperer made his. Um, but his mechanics will stay 100% in place because if I mess those up, <laughs> I won't have a clue what I'm doing. So we'll, um, yeah, let's get uh, let's get cracking on an iron farm, shall we? Just before I give you um, a quick update on the iron farm progress, um, I just want to point out what a great stinking doofus I am. Now, I know you already know this, guys. I know you already know. And what I'm going to tell you is probably not going to be any surprise whatsoever to any of you other than me. Hmm. I'm the one that made the mistake. So, going back to these villagers and... Sorry, these villager traders. You know what I mean. So I'm looking at these, aren't I? I'm going, oh, they maxed out. Why can't I try? Cry, cry, blah, blah. Ooh. Hmm. You know exactly what the problem is, don't you? But I didn't. I do now. Um, I, I, I don't know how it, how it kind of came to me, but it just, it just did. It just did. And it's silly, really. It's like my, like my brain was on pause. And then all of a sudden, my brain caught up with what was actually happening. But it caught up like a couple of hours later. <laughs> so, why do you think I thought it was maxed out? Well, look at my inventory. Do I have any emeralds in there? No, I don't. Do I have any books in there? No. Do I have any paper in there? No. So... What do you think that means? It means I can't trade. Mm. God, Bennett. This guy, I tell you. Talk about moments. I tell you. Anyway, I had to get that out of my system. And I thought I'd share it with you because, um, you know, it's just, it, it's just scandalous, isn't it? Absolutely scandalous. So... Let's give you an update on the um, on the iron farm progress now. Now we've got that out of the way, we will say no more about it. We'll never talk about it again. Okay, okay. First thing I want to say about this area is that I spent a couple of hours fixing the floor before I did anything. All needed just to come up by one slab. That's all it needed, but it's done. So everything fits nice and well i say everything most things fit nice and snugly now um you'll see you'll see some things under the um iron farm you'll see what i mean um but it doesn't matter what's under there because that's all going to be out of you anyway so okay we've got the majority of the iron farm um prepared and ready to go all we need to do now is get all our villagers in place and I'm going for overkill. I know it's only a solo world, but I'm still going for overkill. Over, over, overkill. That's because I can. What do I mean by that? I mean, I'm not having 10 villagers. I'm going to have 20 villagers. So I think that means it spawns two golems at a time or something like that. It, it basically doubles at, um, how much iron um, is, is produced. And I want loads of the stuff. And this is going to produce shed loads of the stuff. So the first villager though, he will be going he will be going just there. It'll be like hedged in, quite literally, with bushes. Hedge, bushes, get it? No. Okay. Bushes and edges. So he'll be in he'll be in there, and the reason why it's done that way is because he's the one 
that will have eyes on the beds and he will communicate that to all the other villagers. So as long as he's alive and safe, which he will be, because he's going to be fully encapsulated once I get him in, <laughs> which is going to be fun in games. But once he's in there, um, yeah, he'll be he'll be fully safe. No, nothing can spawn on bushes. So that's why the bushes are all the way around. And that's why he's going to be encapsulated with bushes. So he'll be the eyes on the bed, sends the relevant signal to the rest of the villagers, and everybody's happy. And the golems will be a spawning, and the iron will be a dropping, and the poppies will be a dropping, and I can make red dye from the poppies, can't I? So, yeah, so all I need to do now is get the villagers in place, and then, and then, we should have a good working iron farm. And I think what I will do as well, I know I said I didn't care, but, you know, I, I was just uh, sprouting nonsense. I was getting a bit irritated with that uh, trading, and it, it just all turned out to be my own fault. Nothing wrong with Minecraft, nothing wrong with what I was doing. It was just my poor brain. It just gave up, didn't it, basically? It just gave up, and it um, slightly irritated me a bit. But, you know, as I said... We're not going to be talking about that anymore it's done it's sorted we all know what happened and we all know it's all good so when the iron farm is up and running and working i'm going to get all this building completed because it just doesn't look right does it the other two are completed so this one needs to be complete and uh yeah that should be, that should be good for this area so let me crack on with this so, we now have our working iron farm. Oh, God. It took me ages. Um, I had to go and sort that village out at, o over yonder because it was interfering. I had to, like, destroy all the profession blocks and, and beds that were there. And um, we had to um, move any villagers that were there. We had to, we had to move them on. We don't need them. We've got a village of breeder, haven't we? Nah. This is doing well, but I don't like that cats are spawning. Why do cats spawn? And how do I stop them from spawning? That's what I want to know. I don't want cats in my iron farm. It's bad enough having poppies and not just all iron, but, you know, I can live with that, but I don't want cats in here. I just don't. But... You know, we've got the uh, working iron farm, so we've got our main villager or our detector villager here who detects all the beds um, for the rest of the villagers. So if we just go down. So we have, I think I put nine in that one and ten in that one, or ten in that one and nine in that one. So there's 20 villagers all together. Um, and just covered them up with, with bushes. Let's have a quick look in here. So I've just, uh, obviously I've sorted that out because iron doesn't drop like that. Um, I don't like, I don't like string. In it. I don't know what to do about that as of yet. But yeah, it's all, um, it's all looking okay I had to uh, destroy my own bed as well I forgot about that <laughs> but because I was having um, golems spoiling uh, sp or spawning um, outside here which is not good you know you don't you don't need that in your life you want the golems spawning up above so I can't have a bed here but that's that's okay I don't mind that I mean, if I really, really do need to sleep desperately, then I just mount my way up there and pick on one of those beds up there. But I don't need to. So, yeah, so we're all we're all good for now. And with that, I think we'll um, call it today. So I'll catch you all in the next one. And remember, um, remember to suggest some names for the villagers in the trading hall and you will get credit i'm thinking of putting like a little sign above each one 
saying, you know, names suggested by whatever. Oh no, and here we go, look. Why are golems spawning outside? Oh dear me. Okay. Anyway, leave it there and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.